It's all about that ramen life though, am I right? Happy Wednesday friends, my name is Kimi Sugiyama. Thank you so much for coming to hang out today. I always appreciate it when you do. I've noticed that recently a lot of YouTubers have been doing this challenge called the 100 layers of something something challenge where they put on like 100 coats of nail polish or 100 layers of clothes or 100 layers of something. And I thought it would be fun to do um, a different version of that where I give you 100 travel tips and lessons that I've learned uh, throughout my travels over the last four years. So let's do it! I am much more capable than I give myself credit for and so are you. Signing up for TSA PreCheck and Global Entry will save you the headache of long lines at security when you're leaving and for the long immigration lines when you're coming back into the United States. Climbing the Great Wall of China with a high fever is a horrible idea. Doing anything with a high fever is a horrible idea. Drink water and stay hydrated. Rest is muy importante. Always dress appropriately to respect the culture and the customs of the country that you're in. Hard case luggage set is the way to go. Leave the high heels at home. A safety whistle and a headlamp come in handy for more than just emergencies. Pack a deck of cards. Mm -hmm. Pack a jar of peanut butter because why not? You never know. Never leave your drink unattended at the bar, especially with somebody you don't know. If you are a tea drinker, bring your own tea bags. Duct tape is an all-purpose savior. Pack a shower towel. Sometimes the people you sit next to on the plane might be really nice. A Kindle loaded with books is a great way to pass time on the plane. Yeah, there's a plane passing overhead now, which was like perfect. On long flights, get up and walk around. I'm walking around, did you get that? Okay. Airports are some of the best places to people watch. This is a matter of personal preference, but I always say take the window seat when you're on a short domestic flight and take the aisle seat when you're on a long haul flight. Four essentials for long haul flights are moisturizer, chapstick, earplugs, and an eye mask. Mm -hmm. Don't exchange currencies at the airport. Mm -hmm. Donate your leftover currencies to charity or use them for a craft project. Take cash out from the ATM before you leave the airport. Don't keep all of your cash and credit cards in one place. Diversify. Alert your credit card companies that you're going to be traveling so that they don't freeze your cards. It is perfectly okay to be a tourist. Not everything needs to be captured on film. And not everything needs to be shared on social media. Using your own two feet and curiosity is the best way to explore the veins of a destination. If you're traveling during an election year, it's important to vote by absentee ballot. But seriously, don't let Trump become the next president, oh my god. Hostile common rooms are a great place to meet new people and make new friends. If you're staying in a hostel or anywhere with community bathrooms, wear flip-flops in the shower. If you're looking for private accommodation without hotel prices, try a hostel or an Airbnb. English is a universal language, but you shouldn't expect it. People are more willing to help than we are led to believe. Always be polite and respectful of the countries that you're visiting. Don't wait for people to talk to you. Be proactive. Start the conversation. Not everyone you meet will be interested in talking, and that's okay. Let go of what you can't control. Accept that things will go wrong, and know that it will be okay. Travel is not about discovering who you are. It's about realizing your own strengths and capabilities. If it makes your soul smile, who cares what anyone else has to say? Travel soul at least once in your life. Send postcards to yourself from the places that you travel. People are generally good. It's their decisions and choices that sometimes aren't so bleh. When you meet a guy or a girl that you like while traveling, they don't always have the same feelings for you. Check to see if you need a tourist visa for the country that you're traveling to. Best to do that before you leave. Know where your country's embassy is located in the country that you're traveling to. Researching culture customs before you go is a must. Earn them frequent flyer miles. It's better to explore deeper within one destination than it is to skim the surface of multiple places. Austin, Texas and Portland, Oregon have the best food truck scenes in America. Speaking of food, I will never have a better meal than the ones that I was served at my Blue Osa Yoga Retreat in Costa Rica. The pollution in Beijing really is that bad. Taiwan is one of the most underrated destinations in Asia. The fruit in Southeast Asia and Latin America is to die for. Australia and New Zealand are really far. Like really far. It is actually a lot easier than I expected to drive around Jeju Island in South Korea. Who knew? Don't ride the elephants or go to the Tiger Kingdoms in Southeast Asia and don't go to SeaWorld. Don't support any organization that involves animal cruelty. Traveling is fun, but it's also a lot of hard work. If you are renting a car, you'll need to show an international driving permit in some countries. 
Pack your own refillable water bottle. Learn the common phrases in the language of the country that you're going to. Konnichiwa. Arigatou gozaimasu. Tabetai. Apply sunscreen generously. I once went to the Great Barrier Reef and we went snorkeling and I forgot to put sunscreen on my back and let's just say I was toasted. Toasted and roasted. Just don't pack dry clean only clothes. Make copies of important documents and either save them in Dropbox or somewhere that you can easily access them on your computer. Bring hand sanitizer. Never, ever, ever put expensive electronics in your checked luggage. Free walking tours are one of the best introductions to a new destination. And food tours are the best introduction to a country's cuisine. Use the XE.com app on your smartphone for all of the latest currency exchange rates from all of the countries. All of the countries. Use the All Subway app on your smartphone to access maps of different mass transportation systems from all over the world. And the best part is they're available offline. Meetup.com is a great way to connect with locals and fellow travelers who have similar interests. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Be kind to one another. We're all doing the best that we can. The only thing standing between you and adventure is yourself. Farmers markets or food markets are a great place to go for a cheap lunch, to try the local cuisine, and to support local producers and restaurant owners. Your intuition will be your greatest compass and ally while you're on the road. Say yes to new experiences, but it's also okay to say no if something doesn't feel right. Traveling during winter is actually awesome. Smile and say hello to the locals. Always tell someone of your travel plans. Don't believe everything that the media tells you about how safe or dangerous the world is. Traveling is a privilege, not a right. Don't forget that. Download all of the airline apps to your smartphone so that you can get electronic boarding passes. That way you save paper and the environment. Go and get some food and do your shopping before you go to baggage claim so that way you're just not standing around and waiting, waiting, waiting. When you're traveling, pay cash for the everyday stuff and use your credit cards only for the big ticket items like for your flights, your hotel reservations, some fancy events, stuff like that. Keep important phone numbers stored offline like in a travel journal so that you can access them easily in the case of an emergency. Bring your own wandering gnome. They make for great subjects in photographs when you don't want to be in them. This is Kokuma, by the way. This is my little wandering gnome. You'll be seeing a lot of pictures of him in the next couple of months. No matter the weather, bring at least one set of clothes appropriate for the opposite season. Eat the street food. You will know which street food stalls are good to eat at based on how long the line is. Don't get into a taxi or a car with anybody that you don't feel comfortable with. Learn as much as you can while you're traveling. And perhaps most importantly, have fun and enjoy your travels. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every Wednesday. Wait, what? A lot of words, oh my god.